Hi, my name is Chris Ryan and thank you for joining me here at the Forest of Arden. This is video number three in this series looking at how the elite golfer moves their body and how that might be slightly different to the amateur golfer. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the hips in the downswing and showing you just exactly what the best players in the world do. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden and welcome to this third video in this series looking at how an elite golfer moves their body and how that's slightly different to what we tend to see from the amateur golfers. And we're picking the things in the golf swing which have a real correlation between how they're moving and handicap level. We've already taken a look at two elements of the backswing in the hips and the shoulders. So we're now gonna be taking a look at something in the downswing. So let's get straight into what we're looking at. So in this video, we're looking at the amount of lateral movement in the pelvis towards the target in the downswing. And what we see is there is a real strong correlation between this movement and handicap level. We would tend to see the elite golfers, the low handicap golfers, having more lateral movements of the pelvis towards the target. Therefore, we see the high handicap golfers, the ones who struggle, will have less movement of the pelvis towards the target. In extreme cases, that pelvis can sometimes move away from the target. And what we tend to see is as we tend to move that pelvis from maybe a golf that moves away towards a movement towards the target, we start to see the handicap level dropping. And again, it's one of those things where there's the real strong correlation. So what we know is that if you're a golfer struggling with strike and delivery, if we can start to get you to move your pelvis a little bit more towards the target, we're probably going to be able to improve your impact and help you hit better shots. So let's go through a couple of drills that can help you do this. Okay, really, really easy uh, practice station that you can set up to help you with this movement. I've got an alignment stick here, my alignment stick, the alignment pro has a head cover, and I've also got my driver head cover down here on the floor. And I'll just go through exactly where I've set these up. So I'm just gonna take my normal address position with my seven iron. So the head cover on the floor is just outside my trail heel. And the alignment stick with the head cover is probably around about a hand's width in front of my lead hip. So what we're looking to do here is in the downswing, we're looking to really close the gap between my lead hip and the alignment stick. So when I, was, when I start my downswing, I'm looking to have some lateral movement of the pelvis towards the target. You can see how I've closed that gap. Now, if I do that correctly, when I rotate after I've hit this golf ball, I should be able to get to my follow through position without making contact with my driver head cover, which is outside my trail heel, such as this. So if I'm the golfer who doesn't reduce that gap, uh, maybe I'm the golfer who actually moves my hips back away. I'm going to see it in two ways. One, I'm going to start to move away from this alignment stick. And two, as I hit the golf ball, I'm probably going to find that my trail heel starts to move a little bit away from the target and I start to hit the head cover that's down here. So if I was to finish this golf shot, I would say really in two areas, one here and one here, which gives me an indication as to how I've moved my pelvis through the golf scene. So what I would get you to do initially is actually just take a starting position, position the head cover here, and make some swings without a golf ball, and just see if we can start to do those things that we want, where we close that gap and swing through without hitting the head cover. And this is a great way for you to start to practice and understand good movement in the pelvis. Now, absolutely, you know, we certainly don't want that pelvis moving excessively towards the target because that can start to give us um, some other movements that we don't want. So as with anything, you can always push this too far. But as I say, if you can get this about a hand width, that's pretty good. That's gonna allow you to move towards it and then start to rotate through into your follow through position. So let's go ahead and hit this golf ball. Got a seven iron, got my little station set up. And I'm not gonna hit this at full speed, but I'm gonna see if I can move towards the alignment stick and miss the head cover. and I'll be very, very happy with that. I can see that I finished against the alignment stick, didn't make contact with the head cover. Even without using a video camera or anything like that, that gives me some good information about what I did with my pelvis through the downswing, and that's really what we're trying to do in this video. So, there is a really, really strong correlation between how a golfer moves their hips in the downswing and their handicap level. If we can start to move you towards a model that we've just demonstrated here, that's really gonna help you achieve a much more solid impact with the weight on the lead side, the handle forward, you're gonna get ball turf contact like I did there, 
and that's going to help you perform better out on the golf course. So hopefully that video was helpful. Usual stuff as always is down below. There's a comments box down there, there's a like button and over here my logo, click that. That will allow you to be a free subscriber of the channel. It just means you won't miss any of the upcoming content. Make sure you also stay tuned for videos four and five coming in this series. Thank you for watching. We'll see you back here again soon.